Well, I'm about the Safeguarding Forum, which is taking place at the Commerce Hotel. With me is Sylvia, one of the keynote speakers, and adult protection is particularly what you do. Yeah. So tell me, you know, because it's fascinating, protecting children to adults, the differences. Um, so in terms of protecting adults, clearly with adults, some adults will choose to live with risks. We all live with risks. We all manage our risks in our lives in different ways, and adults need to be respected in terms of understanding the risks, including risks to their safety and how they want that to be managed and when they invite professions into their lives to help them to manage. So some adults, for example, might have a learning disability, mental health needs, might have dementia, may need greater support than other members of the public in terms of how they manage their lives and how they manage um, to avoid being abused, exploited, etc. by people in society. Um, but it's about working with agencies and agencies understanding the help that that person wants and the way of enabling ah. that person to manage their safety. And here we go, agencies. Isn't it always about linking up the different parts? Absolutely. So what we know from research, which is one of the things I'll be talking about today, is often it, it, uh, it's identifying the best way for the different agencies to share information that they might in their separate agencies hold, or, hold relating to that individual, but also to share the skills that each of the different agencies have. So clearly a police officer has very different skills to somebody who works in the health professions, a psychiatric nurse or a social worker in mental health services, all have very valuable and um, cr um, potentially creative ways of being able to work with that adult, engage with that adult and help them to keep themselves safeguarded. It's interesting about that because here the police are working more with mental health nurses now, uh, combining the resources I think, is yeah. it? putting it's the right people in the right place. Absolutely, combining resources, making sure that information is shared with the adult's consent um, in, in the vast majority of cases unless there's very, very high risk and good reason for not, not sharing with consent oh. or not having consent to share information rather. Um, but very much about pulling that information to build a whole and total picture about what's happening in that adult's life so that we can understand the best way of supporting them. I mean, you work in the UK, have you any idea what it's like over here? I mean, you're, you're just, you know... So I, I'm aware of the, the more recent procedures that have come through in the Isle of Man and, and the, the very substantial steps that have been taken of introducing the new procedures and the Safeguarding Act that's just been in place. And there's certainly lots of momentum and lots of enthusiasm at the conference today. And a great amount of people in Absolutely. the conference, which is interesting. And people from vast, va from, from wide um, diversity of agencies that are contributing and clearly um, people all seeing safeguarding as something that they want to be able to contribute with. So that's, that's your start point now so it's a very strong place to build from.